I see many good friends here, um, including my good friend, the ambassador from Guatemala, who I had the honor and the uh, opportunity to spend time with this summer several times. Far fewer Americans know that by early June, the spike in illegal migration by unaccompanied kids had turned the corner, and now it's in fact at its lowest number since January 2013. I am Ted Hessen, a reporter with Fusion. My question is, um, is the president still committed to taking executive action on immigration, and what sort of action is he considering at this time? Yes, the president is very committed to taking executive action to fix our broken immigration system in the absence of action by Congress, and so am I. And we're developing a set of reforms that I would characterize as comprehensive in nature, but within our existing legal authorities. There are a number of things we can do, and we should do, to fix our immigration system, which I anticipate will be announced somewhere between the midterm elections and the end of the year. Why is the department, why is this administration continuing to build more facilities, not just the one in Artesia, New Mexico? We believe it's necessary to build more of that capability in the event we have another spike like we had last summer. You indicated in your prepared remarks that both you and the vice president have visited Central America. My question is, did you come away from those meetings satisfied that they have both the resources and the will uh, to help address some of the questions that precipitated some of that spike. Of course, of my visit to Guatemala, I got to know the ambassador from Guatemala, who's sitting right here in the front row, who's a wonderful public servant. I had, I had a good session with his president, both here and in Guatemala, and uh, the members of his cabinet, and the first lady. I came away from Central America, from Guatemala in particular, knowing that there was a very personal, heartfelt commitment to encouraging their youth to stay at home. The First Lady of Guatemala was very committed to that. Um, she put her heart and soul into it with a public campaign this summer, which I believe contributed to the, to the downturn. Undoubtedly, there are issues of poverty and violence in Central America, particularly in Honduras and El Salvador and Guatemala. And so in our discussions, which included the President, President Obama, the Vice President, myself, Secretary Kerry, we talked about longer term ways in which we can address those issues. Um, <clears throat> we want to help um, in Central America with their border security efforts. We want to help um, the government of Guatemala with their border security efforts. We have in place um, some resources to do that now, but you know, we, we talked about more of that. Um, and I believe that in the course of our dialogue, we came away with a, with a renewed commitment uh, to, to do better and to do, do more in that regard among all of us. And so we're going to continue that dialogue and continue those discussions. In the recent outbreak, there has been only one case so far of Ebola diagnosed in this country. Nevertheless, this department, my department, the Department of Homeland Security, the Department of Defense, and CDC are heavily engaged. We are enhancing our Ebola screening of air passengers from the three affected African countries, and we are continually evaluating whether more is appropriate.